Hello everyone out there, this is Ladio Suzuril, and welcome to another Pokemon Yellow Glitch. Now, quite a while ago, I know I went through how to walk through walls without a cheating device, this is something kind of similar, only it's a lot easier to do. Yes, I am going to go into the Safari Zone and get infinite steps and infinite Safari Balls. So, no I'm not leaving early, save the game, and start. Alright, so. We use Pikachu, which has fly. And I'll just waste all these steps. Because why not? I'm going to save state every once in a while, just so, you know, I don't mess up because I want to be over a ledge when I run out of time. And by time I mean steps. Okay. That was a mistake on my part. Okay, I am failing big time here. I just need to get 500 steps. And then I am okay. Okay, how many steps is that? Ah. Three. One, two, three. Okay. So I'm three steps away. One, two, jumping over. Okay, and the PA rings, I'm in the air. Now this time I don't need a poison Pokemon, so it's a lot easier than with the walkthrough walls glitch. So what I'm going to do is go back into the saf Oh, shoot. Alright. I messed up. I'm just going to go back into the Safari Zone. And as you can see, I have zero balls. But... I can still throw these balls at Pokemon, and I click Parasect. I have zero steps left, and now I have... Glitch box two balls. So if for some reason you, I don't know, you like the Safari Zone, I mean I understand you can use the long range trainer glitch to get Safari Zone Pokemon elsewhere, but this is just a cool way of that not many people really ever consider. Like if, for instance, a long-range trainer glitch isn't your thing, or if you just can't get that special stat you need, then you can always come into Safari Zone and just catch whatever Pokémon you happen to need relatively easily. Or at least, not easier. The Pokémon can still run from you, and they often do, but you can't run out of time, or at least out of steps. I mean, if it's Chansey you're looking for, I recommend just going to Cerulean Cave, but if it happens to be, like, 
Taurus or Kangaskhan you're looking for, then perhaps this glitch can help you easily get them. Of course, Pinsir ran. It's all this for the price of normal Safari Zoo admission. Um, admission. <laughs> ah, Kangaskhan. And it ran. Okay, perfect. Eventually I'll catch something, I'm sure, that I'm looking for. Okay. This is... Okay, I accidentally put an inner in mail. Oh, the box is full. Perfect. Also, if you're just having trouble finding the H or oh, getting to the secret house for the HM with Surf, no problem. Because this glitch will easily help you uh, get there. Because you have all the steps you'll ever need. As you can see, we're at the secret house. Now, you can always leave the Safari Zone whenever you want, I suppose. I mean, you can't walk through walls, so I guess it's not as special as the walk through walls glitch, but it is a pretty solid way to get whatever you happen to want at the Safari Zone. That is how you can get all of these steps and safari balls you would ever need or want in the safari zone for the price of normal admission. So. As always, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye. Hello everyone out there. This is Ladio Suzuril. And welcome to another Pokemon Yellow Glitch. Now, quite a while ago, I know I went through how to walk through walls without a cheating device. This is something kind of similar, only it's a lot easier to do. Yes, I am going to go into the Safari Zone and get infinite stats and infinite Safari Balls. So, no, I'm not leaving early. Save the game. And restart. Alright. Like if, for instance, a long-range trainer glitch isn't your thing, or... You just can't get that special stat you need. Then you can always come into Safari Zone and just catch whatever Pokemon you happen to need relatively easily. Or at least not easier. The Pokemon can still run from you, and they often do.
but you can't run out of time, or at least out of steps. I mean, if it's Chansey you're looking for, I recommend just doing the Cerulean Cave. But if it happens to be, like, Tauros or Kangaskhan you're looking for, then perhaps this glitch can help you easily get them. Of course, Pinsir ran. All this for the price of normal Safari Zone mission. Oh, so. And he's Pikachu. Has Fly. And I'll just waste all these steps. Because why not? I'm gonna save state every once in a while. Just so, you know, I don't mess up because I want to be over a ledge when I run out of time. And by time, I mean steps. Okay, that was a mistake on my part. Okay, I am failing big time here. I just need to get 500 steps, and then I am okay. Um, admission. <laughs> ah, Kangaskhan. And it ran. Okay, perfect. Eventually, I'll catch something, I'm sure, that I'm looking for. Okay. This is... Okay, I accidentally caught an inner in mail. Oh, the box is full. Perfect. Also, if you're just having trouble finding the H- oh, getting to the secret house for the HM with Surf? No problem, because this glitch will easily help you, uh, get there. Because you have all the steps you'll ever need. As you can see, we're at the secret house. Now, you can always leave the Safari Zone whenever you want, I suppose. I mean, you can't walk through wall. Okay, how many steps is that? Ah. Three steps away. One, two, jumping over. Okay, the PA rings, I'm in the air. Now this time I don't need a poison Pokemon, so it's a lot easier than with the walk through walls glitch. So what I'm gonna do is go back into the Oh shoot. Alright, I messed up. gonna go back into the safari zone and as you can see I have zero balls but I can still throw these balls at Pokemon and I click Parasect. I have zero steps left and now I have glitch box two balls. So if for some reason you I don't know you 
like the Safari Zone. I mean, I understand you can use the Long Range Trainer glitch to get Safari Zone Pokemon elsewhere. But this is just a cool way of that not many people really ever consider. 